Hey everyone, and welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you how to install the powerful QS inventory system for your QB Core 5M server. This script completely overhauls your inventory experience, offering a modern UI and advanced features. I hope you enjoy the video and find it helpful. First, click the link in the description to go to the cfx.re portal. Once there, download the script package, which is usually a zip file. Once it's downloaded, open up the zip file. We'll come back to this. Now, QS Inventory is a complete replacement. You'll need to delete your old QB Inventory, or whatever your current inventory resource is called, and QB Shops from your Resources folder. Knowing your QB core version is essential for smooth operation. You can pinpoint it by checking your core manifest file, which is typically named either FX Manifest Elua or underscore underscore resource Lua. This file resides within your main QB core folder. Once you've located that file, open it up. The version information is usually clearly specified right inside. After you've successfully identified your QB core version, head over to the QS Store GitHub link. There, you'll find and need to download the corresponding compatibility file that matches your exact version. This step is crucial for ensuring everything works together seamlessly. Now, before we even think about the inventory itself, there's a foundational library script that many modern 5M resources rely on, and this inventory is no exception. You'll need to make sure you have Oxlib installed on your server. If you don't have it already, you can usually find the latest version on GitHub or the CFX portal. Simply download the Oxlib resource and place it in your server's resources folder. We'll be making sure it's started in our server.cg later. It's critical to use the latest game build. This will allow you to take advantage of the newest features and avoid compatibility errors. To do this, open your server.cgdf file and change the game build. You'll need to run the provided SQL file. This file is usually included within the downloaded script package. Look for a file with a .sql extension. Select your server's database and import this SQL file. This will create the necessary tables for the inventory to function correctly. We're almost there. Now we need to tell our server to actually load these new resources. Open your server's server.cgf file. You'll need to add lines to ensure oxdalib and your new inventory script are started. Make sure oxdalib starts before your inventory script. The order usually looks something like this.
Push me down to the ground What goes around comes around You won't put the flame out You can't get to me Say what you wanna say Go take it all away But I'm here to stay No, you can't get to me And there is no barricade That I can tell Congratulations! Your inventory has been successfully installed and is now working perfectly. You'll find it has great customization features, including the ability to use, throw, or give items, as well as secure locked slots and more. That'll be all for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and a sub. If you have suggestions, feel free to comment down below or join my Discord. Link will be in the description. Thank you for watching.